We've got Ross Blacklock with us, the rookie. And let's start there. You're a young guy. How much have you grown as a football player since the start of the season to right about now? Yeah, I could say um, it's definitely been an um, interesting journey so far. Uh, my couple months into the NFL, I can tell it's a, in each game I'm improving in certain parts um, of the game and my technique and stuff like that. It just all comes down to reps. You know, missing that offseason kind of hurt us a lot as rookies. So we're playing the game of catch up right now. But I see myself coming along quite well. Fast, uh, slower than I that I want to, but as long as you see improvement, you know, it's getting better. That's good. Yeah, and Romeo Cornell talked about that on Tuesday of Thanksgiving week. He said he's going to get more playing time as, he, as long as he keeps improving, and we've seen that improvement. How encouraging is it knowing that you're improving on the highest level of football there is? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's exciting to watch, excited to see. Um, can never be too satisfied and comfortable with your abilities and talents. is always a, a next level that you can take yourself to. So that's what I'm trying to do every day, just become a better uh, rookie. Um, establish myself in the league and just help this team out anyway, this organization out anyway, I can't to win games. Hey, how come you guys as a unit were so effective against the run last Sunday against the Patriots? I think we all just decided to put our foot down. You know, I think that game was a statement game for us. Uh, we should have won last week, and that was a big run game for us. Um, the defense played well until that last drive, that last week. So I think this week was just kind of a statement game for us that we wanted to establish that you guys can't run the ball on us. We're going to have to make you throw the ball, make them the, the Patriots one-dimensional. Uh, one so that's just what we have to keep doing uh, following with Detroit. Yeah, how, how encouraging is that? You're able to do it. What about the rest of this, the season? How encouraging is it for you? It is. Um, it, we can do it. It's just it's just a matter of if we want to do it and when we want to do it. You know, um, we just got to keep grinding it out each and every week and just become better at the run game and, you know, all phases of the game. And if you do it, you're going to do it against a Detroit Lions team that's coming off a 20 nothing loss. But what do you know about their offensive line? What have you seen from them on tape? What do you got to prepare for? Uh, they're a good team. Um, every, every team in the NFL is good. Everybody has firepower. Um, they got a lot of speed guys on their team. Uh, good running backs, uh, Adrian Peterson, and then they got DeAndre Swift. Uh, questionable to play, so they're both really, really, really good backs. So we just got to anchor down and just bow up this weekend and just be ready to um, take on what's, what's, what's coming. Hey, you're from this area. You know about Adrian Peterson, but you don't have to be from Texas to know about that guy. What are your thoughts on him both now and what you saw of him when you were a little guy growing up and then throughout your little football career? Yeah, I'm a little. I was little when I was watching him play back in his prime. So now I'm about to go uh, play against him, which is insane. But it's gonna be a really fun experience. I plan on, you know, just playing my technique, uh, doing the best that I can. Um, it's also exciting to be able to play against a guy that's been in the league so long and has a lot of respect in this league. So um, I would like to respectfully, you know, play my best towards him and just um, with this team. So it's real exciting. What about Matthew Stafford? That's a quarterback who also has been around a while. He can move an offense. What have you seen from him so far this season? And what do you need to prepare for as a defensive lineman when you're facing that that type of quarterback? Yeah, just um, he's not a big runner, but he can run. He has a he has ability to make you miss. Um, great thrower. Uh, like you said, he's a vet. He's been in the league for a very, very long time, so he knows what he's doing back there. Um, just got to be cognizant of all the checks that he makes and um, get used to the rhythm and flow of the snap counts and stuff like that, and just you know, just be aware of you know their situation and how they how they see their team. They see us in a certain way, we see them a certain way. So, any form of trick trick games or stuff like that, we've got to be prepared for. Last thing, it's Thanksgiving. You guys are going to be the only game that's on. You're shaking your head. For those who are listening, he's shaking his head. How exciting is that? It's exciting. Um, never played on Thanksgiving ever um so it'll be fun i know uh once we play good and we come back with a win i'll have a nice thanksgiving plate ready for me at the crib <laughs> <laughs> that's right you're just up the street what's going to be on that plate what are you going to be eating oh mom's going crazy i know she's going to make some turkey some mac and cheese uh dressing uh greens chicken all types of stuff all types of desserts pies all that so i'm ready for it Good stuff. We'll go get back, go get seconds and thirds, and hopefully it's after a Texans victory. Ross Blacklock, thank you so much for the time. Best of luck. No problem. I appreciate it.